Second Aliyah, Parshas Mitzorah. Second Aliyah describes the third process that the Mitzorah has to go through in order to divest himself of his Tzaras Tumah, the Tumah that comes with the affliction of Tzaras. And the Torah talks about the bringing, one of the Korbanas is known as the Asham, the guilt offering, that the Kohen shechts the Korban Asham, the guilt offering, and takes the blood from the Korban and applies it to the right ear, the mid-ear, the right thumb, and the right big toe of the Mitzora as part of the purification process. What is fascinating is that we don't find this process repeated in any other situation in the Torah except for one, the case of uh, the inauguration of a Kohen, a Kohen who is based on his actions and his high standing, noble standing in society, has been chosen to serve in the Beis Amikdash, has to go through a process of inauguration and involved in that process is the exact same procedure, taking blood from the shechted animal, applying it to his right ear, his right thumb, and his right big toe. The question is, what is the connection? How can we compare the Kohen, who is the most noble elite individual in Klal Yisrael, to this Mitzora, who is the outcast, who has been singled out, thrown out of society, leaving all Gimel Machanos, leaving all three camps, and now he's trying to make his way back. What is the connection? We know that every single individual has a deep yearning to uh, f feel self-worth. A person wants to feel valued, he wants to feel like he's a success, that he has worth. Now, in secular society, the way this is uh, attained is through the promotion of competition. Competition is the form by which we gauge ourselves vis-a-vis -vis our fellow man. If we can best him, we can be better than our colleagues, that gives us a sense of then we have attained success, we have attained self-worth by being better than the person next to us. Unfortunately, this manner of gauging ourselves is fraught with great dangers. We are never truly encouraged to fully develop to be all that we ourselves can be. And furthermore, instead of applying ourselves and developing our talents and actualizing our potential, we sometimes choose a path of least resistance. The easy way out is that we can elevate ourselves by stepping upon others, putting others down, and uh, we can delude ourselves into believing that by a being that we feel we're better than them, that gives us a sense of self-worth. Now, the opposite is true. Very often, instead of feeling accomplished, right, we will feel empty and we don't feel that sense of fulfillment that we are looking for. And very, because very often also the most talented and the uh, individuals have the greatest capacity will be, will feel the greatest void when they are, uh, when they are, have that sense of not being fulfilled. And we find that usually the ones that have that talent to put people down, the cynics, the ones that are the Bali Lush and Hora, are also usually the most talented individuals. Yes, they're using their talent, unfortunately, in a way that is not going to give them the fulfillment they desire. <clears throat> That is really the motivation very often of the Baal Lashon Hora. The Baal Lashon Hora puts people down because he's searching his own sense of fulfillment. Now, if this Baal Lashon Hora has chosen that path to get fulfillment, clearly saw that path led him to be singled out as an outcast. The Torah is teaching us that if you want to feel special and you want to feel that you are uh, separating yourself as an outstanding individual, Take a look at the Kohen. The Kohen embodies self-accomplishment, developing his potential. He stands out in society in a positive manner. So therefore, and that is being highlighted by the inaugural process. The inaugural process that he goes through highlights the individual. This is an upstanding individual. You, the Baal Lashon Hora, you want to be, you want to have that sense of fulfillment. You want to be singled out and somebody special. Use the Kohen as your role model. The t process of the Kohen is, is mimicked by the Mitzora, because now he's coming back to society and you have that still, that deep desire to feel self-worth, copy the Kohen, use and actualize your 
your, your talents and, and, and your potential in a way that will make you feel special in a positive manner, not in the way you did in the past, which laid you down to in a path of self-destruction.